Now, a diagram is drawn to show what is observed by the eyes E. Okay. Now, for simplicity, now let's the direction of the flux density be to the right. Okay. That is the direction of flux density. Now, uh, by the ampere force law, the F equals I L cross B. Now, it is easily it can be easily deduced that the force acting at AB at this moment is pointing upward, while the ampere force exerted on CD at this moment is pointing downward. Now, now let's check the option one by one. Now, uh, D, the direction of the current in the car remains unchanged. Now, please notice that there is a commutator. There is a commutator. Now, therefore, after half a cycle, when the orientation becomes as shown. Now you will find that now the current will be flowing from B to A. However, initially it is flow from A to, to B. Now further the direction of the curve uh, has been changed. Therefore the last option must not be the answer. Now let's check option C. Now the direction of the magnetic force acting on AB remains constant. Now with the same reasoning, after one half cycle, you will find that now the force becomes pointing downward. However, initially it is pointing upward. Now therefore, the direction of force exerting on AB has been altered. Therefore, DC must not be the answer. Now let's check option B. The magnetic force acting on BC is the greatest when the car uh, is horizontal. Now please notice now how to apply this equation. If we want to find out the magnitude of the force, we have to change it in this way. Now such that theta is the angle between the current element and the flux density. At this moment, now do you find that BC is parallel to the magnetic flux density? Thus, the angle is zero degree. And then from this equation, you will find that the ampere force at this moment is exactly zero. It is minimum, not maximum. Now, therefore, the option B is wrong. Okay, well, now let's check the option A. The turning effect is zero when the car is vertical. Now, in order to make a perfect deduction, now let's see. Even in the vertical direction, there is still current passing through the car. Now, do you see that? Now, uh, the force exerting on AB is pointing upward, while the force exerting on CD is pointing downward. However, movement by definition is the force multiplied, multiplies the moment arm D. However, from the diagram, do you notice that this term is exactly zero? Now, therefore, at this moment, the turning effect is zero. Now, therefore, option A is correct.